Hey guys, today I'm filming my summer project pan intro. I'm really excited to start working on a new group of products. And I have had a lot of these things in mind for a while. I definitely plan ahead. I have some notes on my phone of items that I think I want to put in different seasonal projects. And some of these products I have already been working on for the past couple of weeks and I have made some pretty significant progress. And at first I was feeling bad about that, feeling like the products weren't gonna be challenging enough for this project but I am supposed to be having my daughter June 21st and I'm going to be off of work for a month. So I'm sure I'll wear makeup a couple days within that month, but not every single day like I usually do. So that makes me feel better that some of these products are gonna be a little bit easier with that in mind. And you guys know me, I will always roll new items in if I finish my original products early enough. So there's always potential for that too. Several of these items are also coming from my year long project pan, which I will have linked in the cards. And some of these are long haul products that I am assuming will take me more than three months to work through. So I'm thinking that a decent amount of these are gonna trickle into my fall project pan, but I might surprise myself and finish some things within this three month project. And I am wanting to just track the progress on these items on more of a monthly basis because my year long project I update every other month. A lot of these products I do need to weigh. I'm in a little bit of a rush today, so I have not done that yet, but I will have the weights on the screen. And some of these items I do have actual markings on for you to be able to see, but let's just get into the products. So this first product is not an official item in this project, but I wanted to tell you about it. So I am going to be using the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray as my primer and setting spray. This was brand new, this is in my year long project, and the mister wasn't working, so I put it in my Urban Decay D Slick bottle. It is completely full to the top, so I know that this is not going to show a weight for a very long time, and I'm not going to be able to see through the packaging either. So I just wanted to let you know this is the product that I will be using for primer and setting spray, but hopefully by the time I start my fall project pan, a weight will be able to show up. Next for primer, I have the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier. This does have SPF in it, but it has expired. I'm not worried about it because I use a different SPF. This looks like a small size, but it actually has 0.8 fluid ounces, which is a lot. I don't know that I'm gonna finish this in three months, but I'm going to do my best. This primer does have a little bit of like a thicker, slightly gluey type of consistency, so I can't go ham and use a lot like I can with hydrating or glowy primers but I am wearing it right now and it worked really well. Of course, I don't know how this makeup is going to wear all day, but I did try to use a lot of these products together and I'm happy with the way my complexion looks. So I should be able to see through this packaging at some point, but right now I am at the top, but I will weigh this. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Matte. This has SPF, it has also already expired. And I am starting right down here, which is awesome. Not quite halfway done, but close. And I still am worried about finishing it in three months just because when I panned the IT Cosmetics Matte CC Cream a couple years ago, it took me a really long time, but we'll see. Then I have a face powder. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Loose Powder. And this is something that could also potentially go into my fall project. I do get through powder pretty quickly, but this is too dark for me to use on its own. So I do have to mix it with something else, which is gonna slow down the progress a bit. And I was able to mostly level it out to market, but I will weigh it as well. And I'm almost halfway done with this. And my mixing powder is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Five Fair. This is not something that I am trying to use up, but I thought it would be fun to track the progress. And if I just happen to finish the both of these, that would be incredible. So I am almost halfway done with this powder as well. 
Then I have some liquid cheek products. First would be the Iconic London Sheer Bronze and Caramel Glow. This is a liquid bronzer that I use on top of my foundation. And this is something that I have been using throughout the year. I used it a lot over the past month. So I actually made quite a bit of progress and I'm about down to here. So this should be finished in just a month or two, which is super exciting. And then I will roll in something else. Then I have this Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlight in Opal and I had it marked up here for my year long project pan intro, I believe, but it has a lot of air in here right now. So I am going to weigh it. This is something that has given me trouble this year basically with the way it's blending out and the way mostly that it's looking on my skin after I've set with powder. So something that I did today was actually using this to give me glow on top of my primer but underneath my foundation and I think that looks really pretty so I will probably mostly be using this product up this way. I might try using it on top of foundation again as well and play with that but I would love to finish this completely. I don't know if I can in three months. Then I have just one eye product and that would be the Balm Batter Up Shadow Stick and Curveball. I've also been using this the past couple weeks and I have used it here and there throughout the year depending on my makeup look. And I will mark this in a piece of paper. This is all that is left. You guys know when I work on shadow sticks, I do dig down into the base to get all the product. I actually feel like I could finish the whole thing in this project, but I would be happy if I could just finish the nub and I finish the base in fall, but that is not a ton left. I actually think I could finish the whole thing in this three months, but we'll see. And then I have several lip products. So for my lip balm, I'm going to be using at the beginning of my makeup application. It's gonna be this little deluxe sample of the K-Skin Isle Lip Balm SPF of 30. And the SPF has actually not expired on this one. So that's lovely. And it doesn't say how much product it comes with. That was probably on the box, but I have only used this once so we'll see how long this lasts it is a little bit more of like a thin slightly oily lip balm then for my purse lip balm i have several products this first one is something again i have been using for the past month since i finished my other purse balm and i made a ton of progress on this this is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm, the original one. So you can see it's mostly cleared out in the center, but I have a lot of product at the top and at the bottom. I have not pulled the stopper out yet, but I will. And I'm really enjoying this formula. It is very nice and hydrating. And as much as I have enjoyed using up my clear glosses as balm, sometimes I do want something that is more hydrating. So that is what I'm gonna be using this. So I'm not going to like focus on this till it's done and then use these other ones. I'm gonna be using them interchangeably when I need like a little bit of more true hydration. But the clear glosses that I want to use as purse balms this year would be one from Lawless and one from Kosas. And I'm introducing them both now just because I already have them picked out, I'm excited to show you. And I have been able to get through the Lawless ones pretty quickly. So this is a mini, forget the filler gloss and rose pearl. So this isn't clear. This is more of a metallic rosy bronze color, but it does go on very sheerly. So it's clear enough for me to use as a purse balm. And I have only used this one, I believe once so far. And then I have this mini Kosas wet lip oil and this is in the color unzipped. So it looks like a nude with a little bit of shimmer, but it is a super sheer shade. It does come out to be mostly clear. So here is the Lawless and here is the Kosas. So just a hint of color and a little bit of shine. So I do think I can actually get through all three of these in three months. And then I have two colored glosses that I want to use up. I know it might seem ambitious to put them both in the intro, but if you can see these markings, I made this much progress on both of these glosses within the past month, which is insane. So the main lip gloss I wanna focus on and the one that I'm wearing today 
and had planned to pan in this project would be the Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly in Coconut. I was here at the beginning of the year. I made all this progress in the past month. So really this is like a month's worth of progress if I continue using it at the same rate. But again, I am gonna be having a baby soon, so that's gonna slow it down a bit. And then the gloss I wanted to pan in fall would be this NARS Oil Infuse Lip Tint in Primal Instinct. But I had already started using this over the past month when I was wearing more warm tone makeup looks or wanted something more neutral. So I was there a month ago and now all the way down here. So I have just about the same amount of products left on the both of these. So I do think it's possible for me to finish both of these in three months, which would be amazing. So those are all the items that I'm hoping to use up completely, or at least to make as much progress as possible to then finish in fall. But I did decide to add in a couple products for usage goals. First, I have the Natasha Denona Bloom Cheek Palette. This has been neglected in my collection for quite some time and my goal is going to be to use this cream blush 10 times and the other products five times each so i think that's pretty achievable and then i have two pencil liners i would like to use 10 times each i think that should be very achievable as well because i just feel like these are going to be go-to's all season long i will continue to use them and track them if i surpass that 10 use goal so first we have the ColourPop creme gel liner in brickell which is a perfect copper metallic and i also have the Too faced killer liner and killer turquoise which is so pretty I don't have anything quite like this and here's a swatch of those liners the killer turquoise is matte so guys those are all of the items that I have picked out to work on this summer I feel pretty good about this and I'm hoping I have some pretty good updates for you guys and I would love to hear your thoughts if you have used up any of these products before and I would love to know what products you're working on and what projects you are participating in. I'm also doing my year-long makeup project pan and a rolling non-makeup hair, skin, and body project pan. If you're interested in checking those out, I will have those playlists linked up in the cards. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.